M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Just going to show you my settings on my Yesu FTM300 and my Pi Star settings. So here's my dashboard. We're all connected. I will push the X button in a minute. But um, just start off by just showing you that I, if you look at my settings here, I'm connected at the moment to FCS00290. The frequency is 433550 simplex. You do need to remember to put your call sign into your FTM300 in the call sign section, and there's a video on that. So you, you can hear it in the background. That's YU2 DVD talking in the background. So I'll just go to configuration and show you what you have to select. So at the top here, I, it's a simplex hotspot. It says MMDVM host, so select that. Then here it says YSF mode, slide that across. At the moment, it's, uh, it, if you're using an OLED screen, all you need to do is select OLED here, type three. Uh, and when you apply that, the OLED screen is the little blue one, the little sort of blue and black screen, sometimes there's yellow, and then DevaT AMO and G4 KLX. If you apply that, uh, it will all work fine. And then, I've called it DMR because it's been using my DMR as well, but you could rename it Fusion, D-Star, whatever you like, but you know, it probably makes sense in this case to use Fusion if you're going to use it for that. Call sign again, essential. Now, I've got DMR number in here. I don't think you need DMR number in a Fusion setup, but anyway, you might as well put it in there if you've got a DMR number. There's your simplex frequency. So on your radio, you're just creating a simplex memory channel 433.550 and that's all you need to do then here we are with my coordinates you don't have to have that but it obviously is good town it says here locator um, country you can change these if you want URL I haven't changed that at all but I suppose you could put in there your QRZ maybe um, now the, this bit is important radio modem type so STM 32 DVM MM DVM HS Raspberry Pi hat GPIO 100% that needs to be in there for a simplex hotspot. You would drop down and select something different if it was a different type of hotspot. But for just a normal jumbo hotspot, um, this is the one you want, simplex. Uh, private, I've enabled APRS, host enable. Um, you don't need that, but I've enabled it. Europe, London, English. And then look here, you can, the, whatever you select here is what it will be boot up at. So if you put on here, if you put this one to Hubnet, for example, if you go up to Hubnet and select Hubnet, every time it turns on and off, reboots, it will always go straight to that without you having to apply that setting. It will just work straight away. You can change it. You can go back in here. You can choose another one. You can click apply changes and it will change over. Or you can do the push the X button on your radio and then change it from the radio, which is what I'm going to try and do in a, in, a, in a separate video. Well, what I'll do, it'll be the same video, but I'll, I'll include it in this video. Right, so, I think that's it. Dashboard, everything's working fine. It's sounding really good. You can see it in the camera there. So I'm gonna go over there. I'm just gonna hit the, hit the X button, and, um, and let's see if you can see it connect, fingers crossed. So when it lights up, because it's about six foot from me, it will, my call sign will appear here when I press the X button. So if it doesn't do it, I'll pause the video and I'll get it working. Right, that's fine. Just give me a minute to get it working, and then I'll be back. Right, okay, we're here. So, you know, it wouldn't go in because I had it on single receive. If you push DISP, you get the scope come up, and it goes into single receive, and it wouldn't let me go into wires X like that. So anyway, back into dual receive. We're on the A band, or the the main band. Now we're going to hit the X and watch the Pi Star board. So you hold your finger on the X. You hear that noise? It sort of goes. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So 
That means we're connected now. I know it's a bit glary. See if I can get rid of the glare. I can't really get rid of the glare, unfortunately. Anyway, so what you can do now, you can. What you can do now, you've got a couple of options. You can hit search direct, or you can go down and you can select the one that's flashing. So if we hit search direct, and then you can, we've got some categories here saved. That's a bit more advanced, where you create a category and you put um, rooms that you want to connect to uh, as favorites, and then you can find them easily. Or you can just select all. If I select all, it will now search and it will come up with a list. It, there you are. It doesn't always do it first time. You might have to have a couple of tries. So let's go down to HubNet and connect to that. And if you look at the PyStar hotspot, it will also change. Yeah, we've got the volume a bit a bit loud there, and someone's coming in with a bad connection, so I just turned that down. But you can see that they are connected here. M0H, XHN is connected, and it's not a great signal. Um, so can you see how you can switch rooms? And when someone's talking, it's hard to switch rooms. So if we just move to another room and push it, see if it'll switch. No, it won't switch when someone's talking. So now to get out of that, just hit back, back, and so there you're in the um, hub net. There, I'll just let you have a listen. Now, if you want to just come out of that, just that screen, you'll still be connected to that room, just hold down the DX button and you're still connected, you're still going to get all the traffic that's on that room but you, you're not stuck in that window and you can even hit the DS and get the, um, the nifty little um, scope there at the bottom press it again so there you are, hope that explains how it's all working we're still having a bit of a problem with the categories section, um, but who knows, we might get it working eventually. If, it, if they stop speaking, I might have a go at that. No, they're having a real good chat there, so no problem. So anyway, you got my setup there. You can see how my all my FTM 300, my Pi Star setup is working. Hope this helps. 7-3, all the best.